Hi. Today I'm not gonna read you a book. I'm gonna tell you the story of the three little pigs. I want you to use your imagination and I want you to think of what this story might look like. So I'm gonna tell you the story of the three little pigs. It's also including some fun little songs, so I hope that you enjoy it. Ready? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived with their mother in a tiny little cottage. Well, these three little pigs grew up. They grew bigger and bigger until one day they were too big to live in that cottage. So their mother decided it was time for them to leave home. You must go and build your own houses, but I must warn you, watch out for the big bad wolf. So they promised to keep a lookout for him, then waved goodbye and set off into the big wide world. Cheerio, off we go, walking down the long, long road. Cheerio, off we go, three little pigs are we, three little pigs are we. Cheerio, off we go, where are we going? We don't know. Cheerio, off we go, three little pigs are we. Three little pigs are we. Cheerio, off we go. Curly tails all in a row. Cheerio, off we go. Three little pigs are we. Three little pigs are we. Soon, while walking down that road, they came upon someone carrying a bundle of straw. And the first little pig thought that the straw would make a good house. Please, sir, would you give me that straw to build my house? Sure, little pig, you can have the straw. So the first little pig built himself a house made of straw and was very pleased with his house. Now the big bad wolf won't get me. So the second and third little pigs went on along the road and it wasn't long before they saw someone carrying a bundle of sticks. The second little pig thought to himself, that would make a lovely house. Please, kind sir, will you give me those sticks to build my house? Well, of course, little pig, you can have the sticks. So the second little pig built himself a house made of sticks and he was very pleased with his house. Now the big bad wolf won't get me. The third little pig walked on along the road and soon he met someone carrying a load of bricks. The third little pig thought the bricks would make a fine house. Please, please, sir, would you give me those bricks for my house? Sure, little pig, you can have the bricks. So the third little pig built himself a house made of bricks. He was very pleased with his house. Now the big bad wolf won't get me. The first little pig built a house of straw. It had four windows and a little door. You've never seen a house like this before. The house made of straw. The second little pig built a house of sticks. He fitted them together, clickety-click. He thought that this would do the trick. The house made of sticks. The third little pig built a house of bricks, cemented all together very slick. He built up the walls nice and thick, the house made of bricks. So now the little pigs had houses fine with little picket fences and washing lines and shiny red doors with bells that chime. Three houses fine. Well, the next day, the big bad wolf walked down the road to the first little pig's house of straw. He had one thing on his mind, a nice juicy pig for breakfast. So he stomped up the front door, knocked loudly and shouted at the little pig. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. The first little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down cause I'm the baddest wolf in town. So don't you think that you can flee. I'm as bad as a wolf can be. So the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and he puffed and huffed <gasps> and he blew the house in. 
Well, the little pig ran as fast as he could to his brother's stick house. The big bad wolf grunted, walked off down the road to the second little pig's house. He stomped up to the front door, knocked loudly and yelled at the little pig. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said that second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So the big bad wolf huffed and puffed, and he huffed and puffed, and he blew the house in. Those two little pigs ran as fast as they could to their brother's brick house. The big bad wolf went off down the road in a huff, came to the third little pig's house. He stomped up to that front door. He knocked loudly and bellowed at the little pig. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Third little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. But he couldn't blow the house in. He was getting very mad. He grumbled loudly then started to climb onto the roof of the brick house. And he roared at the little pigs. I'm coming down the chimney. But the three little pigs could hear the wolf shouting as he climbed up the chimney. He shouted again, I'm coming down the chimney. But the three pigs had already thought up a plan. They put a big pot of water over the fire in the fireplace. The wolf came crashing down the chimney, fell straight into the steaming pot of hot water. That big bad wolf jumped out of the pot with a yelp. <laughs> what a plot. The pot was hot. The wolf leapt in the air. He jumped around up and down and said it wasn't fair, but the pigs didn't care. What a plot. The pot was hot. The wolf leapt in the air. He hopped about and gave a shout and said it wasn't fair, but the pigs didn't care. What a plot, the pot was hot, the wolf leapt in the air. He gave a wail, went quite pale, and said it wasn't fair, but the pigs didn't care. The big bad wolf ran right off down the road and never bothered those three pigs ever again. They were very pleased that the wolf had gone, and they all lived together happily ever after in the house made of bricks. The end. <laughs>